What is up everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. Thanks for tuning in. All right, I wanted to go through some of my favorite summer techniques as far as top water fishing goes because as you all know, or if you don't, if you're new to this, if you're a beginner, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. I try to combine uh, a lot of my techniques with a lot of beginner techniques so people that are brand new, I, I started this channel for the so people could catch more fish. So um, I, I try to include as many beginner tips in here throughout so people that are just trying to figure out, like, I just want to watch this video to figure out how to catch these fish. You know, I don't need all the entertainment. I don't want to watch you catch fish for 10 minutes. I just want to know how to do it. So that's why I, I try to give you as many of these as I can. So today we're going to focus on some top water stuff because it's summertime and there's top water fishing going off everywhere. I have been fishing uh, Kachuma a lot. I'm uh, getting a lot of reports from Castaic and there's a top water bite pretty much everywhere. It's summertime. Also down in San Diego, uh, San Vicente, things like that. There's there's just top water. It's summertime, the water's warm, the fish come up and they're blasting top water right now. So without further ado, here are my favorite top water techniques. Now as far as setups go, um, I may say that for another, um, another video. I use, uh, I use my um, SLX DC by Shimano for most of my topwater stuff because it's really light, really easy to sling. Um, or unless I'm going after giant striper at Castaic, I use my bigger Daiwa medium heavy with a 4,000 um, Shimano uh, Sienna spinning reel. Because you just, you want a lot of heavy line. And I think I've got like 12 to 14 pound test on there. And same with my, um, my uh, casting setup as well. So, you know, 12 to 14 pound test, you'll be fine if you hook into a giant fish. So, um, you could also use braid. I just don't like to use it. Um, so anyway, here we go. Top water stuff. Right now, as far as like this last video and the one that's coming up that you're about to see, I've been catching and getting a lot of fish on the good old chug bug. Um, it's really, it, what's cool about this is it's very similar to a popper. It's identical to the popper. It's just a little bit bigger, so you can sling it really far. So this is the Rebel Pop R, which just had a lot of success in the past. And I'll throw this to small, if I see smaller fish, or I don't know if the, the boils and what I'm seeing are bigger fish, I will throw this. But it's just very, very light, so you gotta have really light line on there, like six, four pound, whatever. Um, so what I like to do is put this sucker on. So the chug bug, man, it's like a popper. You just, you know, bloop, 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 pop it through the water, let it sit. I get a lot of my bites on this when I'm seeing like, a, I'll just see like something hit, not, not boils or anything, but just a bass hit the surface, throw this in there, boom, they get it right away. Always hooks them, very good. I also throw this for striper as well because it just looks great. It's like the perfect size for bass and striper. All right, so this is my favorite. Uh, one of my favorites. That's not my number one though. Okay, so this is a tried and true staple of any fisherman, fresh and salt water, and that is the Zara Spook. This is the Super Spook Junior, um, which I just throw this the smaller one for bass and striper. And again, it's a walk the dog bait. Just boom, 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 boom across the water. You want to use, uh, you know, again, you know, I don't, I don't tie on anything less than eight pound especially when I'm doing top water fishing this time of year. So you can get away with throwing this on like heavier line too, 14 pound, 20 pound. All right, now I've only used this a few times and I've gotten a few bites on it, I've gotten a few fish, but I don't throw it that often and I don't know why because I know it's a good uh, thing. Um, and that is this, the Whopper Plopper, right? I mean, it's awesome. I've got a lot of good hits on it. Um, just goes across the surface and, you know, propels. Um, you know, I just don't really throw it all that often, but the Whopper Plopper is effective, especially this time of year. Okay, one of my favorites. Now I found, it's so funny, because I, I started throwing these because I found one at Castaic uh, during the striper blitz of like two, three years ago, and I just found it floating. So I grabbed it. This is the IMA Skimmer, and it is awesome. I mean, these are not, teeth marks. I'd like to think they are. It's actually from the, the hooks getting scraped all over it. But this thing has seen some action. 
so many striper and also some really good bass on this. You see it kind of looks like a shad. It's just, it kind of, if the bass or the or the striper are looking for a fast bait, you know, like shad are very fast, you know. So bass and striper will key on on these on these fish that are moving really quick across the surface. You don't want to just throw something like this in and just bloop, you know, and try to elicit a response from nearby. If they're actively feeding and they're going after fast moving fish, you want something that you can jerk across the water. And that's the good thing about the skimmer is you throw this thing and it's it's back weighted. So you can sling it, it's really kind of heavy. And when you hit the water, you just it just skims across the water, like the name. Um, and you can really jerk it fast. I know they do this a lot um, you know, for spotted bass who are going after those super fast herring, but this is when they're really actively chasing bait. The skimmer is awesome. Um, I've got quite a few of those because they're very good. Now, another one that I don't throw as much because it's just kind of redundant is the Sammy, but it does work as well for bass and for striper. Very similar kind of to the, to the skimmer. I think that's why it's just kind of redundant and I just had more luck with this one, but it's a big flashier bait. And sometimes, you know, the, the fish have seen everything. Um, and so you want to switch it up, try something brand new. And so I always save the Sammy just for that. Also, this is also for good bass. I caught some nice four or five pounders on this uh, as well as striper, but that is the Lucky Craft Gunfish. His little tail is missing, which you gotta have the tail on there. Uh, but it's cool because you see the rattles and the weight. You can really fling this. And I throw, the, this is my main striper top water bait. And that's going on my 14 to 20 pound fluorocarbon on my big heavier setup. And you can sling this a mile got the nice lip there so you're getting lots of splashes especially when you're dealing with the striper you want a lot of commotion and again the sound you want to drag it across really really fast so the gunfish is also a staple in my arsenal all right now the frog I throw the frog pretty often if the water looks froggy enough um, the problem is I've I've gotten many hits and I have yet to catch a fish on the frog. I have no idea why. Maybe I gotta take the uh, the hooks out a little bit. They say sometimes if you bend them out a little bit, it helps, but you know, it's weedless this way. So anyway, I will throw the frog more often, especially down in San Diego. Uh, some of these uh, waters where the, the fish are a little bit more aggressive, um, but it's a great bait right now. So do not overlook the frog, especially if you got a lot of weeds and reeds and stuff, you know, around the lake. All right, last but not least, but this is, Definitely my favorite top water bait for summer. Going into fall, make sure you stock up on these because I, I've already had success in this video that I just posted over at Kachuma, and this is a staple at Castaic, and that is the Fluke. This is the Super Fluke by Zoom right here. You gotta get these. Um, this is the Smoke and Shad. I, I, I tried three or four different um, you know, it just depends on the water clarity. If the water's kind of clear, I like something a little clearer or a little more natural looking. The smoke, there's like three or four different shades that are similar to this one. Um, if the water's a little dirtier, I'll switch to a white one, or if the fish are deep, uh, I'll, I'll switch to the white one as well. But hooking a fluke, there's many ways to do it. I still use the little tiny hook, a size four, size six uh, mosquito hook by owner, um, and I like to nose hook them. Um, and if you watch that uh, Kachuma video, I, uh, I I hooked a couple of them, but I hooked a really nice one. I watched him eat it too. I just saw a little bit of top water action in this cove, uh, toss us over by some trees. And you know the cool thing about the fluke, you know this thing, you know you pop it across the water. I mean, and it looks fantastic, like a little bait fish that's like trying to survive, you know, trying to to live. And uh, this big bass came out of nowhere, big three to five pounds, not a giant, but it came out of nowhere and grabbed it, but he wrapped me up and broke me off. Check out that video uh, when you can. But anyway, throwing the fluke is incredible because if they're top water feeding, you can throw this in the mix and almost always get bit. And also I've switched to the, the super fluke junior. So in case they're going after smaller fish or the water's super clear and they can see it, um, you have a better chance of getting bit at Castaic. That's kind of what I like to do. Uh, but a place like uh, Kachuma and some of the San Diego lakes where you may need to really cast it, especially down in like San Vicente and stuff, where you're, you may be seeing the topwater stuff, uh, you know, ways away, you might need the bigger fluke and even a bigger hook. And you can, you know, hook them the way they're supposed to be hooked under the belly there. Um, 
So yeah, this thing, if you see them actively feeding, you can throw this in there, um, pop, 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 get it. If, you, if they're a little more reluctant, but you know where they're at, they're feeding intermittently, and you see this in my in my last video as well, I will throw this up to the bank. There's, there's shelves in a lot of the lakes, and if you know where the shelves are, you can throw this up and then just kind of, you know, jerk it into the water. And once that hits that sort of, there's like the clear stuff at the top of the uh, water column, and it's a little darker, that's where the bass are hanging out in the little darker and they're ambushing the fish in the little clear area. If you can get, this sucker to go from the clear to the dark and just kind of let it drift down there boom you get hit I, in two videos ago i had some nice hits on this doing it that way um and same with castaic i've got some videos i think it's boils 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 and a couple of other uh, bass boiling videos from castaic where uh, and this is for late summer and early fall when you're really seeing them boil in backs of canyons and the backs of coves and stuff like this this is just such a killer bait, but make sure you get the smaller size too and kind of experiment with colors. Um, and also, you know, you can, when they're really actively feeding, but the water's clear, uh, another technique, and I've, I've mentioned this before, is I will throw it onto shore, like just a few inches onto shore and just barely pop it into the water, like get that nose in the water so it's making a little splashing. And then as soon as you jerk it in, they usually, the fish will, if they're schooling up and feeding like that aggressively, they'll compete for it and grab it. And I've had a lot of good success. So the fluke, as always, my number one bait for top water. Now that is not to say I don't have some secret top water baits. It's not really a secret. It's the beaver. It's uh, it's on my other rod right now, so I'm not gonna show you the beaver. But if you haven't seen those beaver videos, since the day that I brought it out and it was literally just kind of a gag just to see if I could catch something on it and I caught like three that day uh I've thrown it ever since and every time I throw the beaver I get bit including this last video um so check that out because that beaver is a really cool wake bait all right guys uh also if you guys have any information lakes that are hot right now where you're catching fish put it in the comments let's share the information all right thank you so much for watching everybody I'll see you tomorrow